Hi, I'm Kevin, and I'm here today to talk about the Dra Technica Dragon 120 Ski Boot. This is the highest performance boot in Technica's recreational line of boots. Um, the high performance all mountain boot by all means here. Um, it's got a lot of the same features and even the flex um, that's comparable to a lot of the race boots, but in a little more relaxed stance and last. So uh, for a guy that's going to be out there all day on the hill, this is definitely a go-to boot for you. Uh, at a 120 flex, like I said, it's going to be a very performance orientated, um, tons of energy transmission here. It's going to really be able to drive those high performance skis. If you like to carve uh, and ski a stiffer, you know, short turning slalom type ski, this is definitely going to be a great skiing boot for you. Um, it features Technica's um, 100 millimeter last, so it's a little more forgiving than the race last, which is a 98 millimeter last. That's going to fit like an A to short side of a C width foot, whereas this features a B to D width accommodation. So a little more generous, a little more comfortable, like I said, for all day skiing. Um, getting into some of the features of the shell here, you got four micro adjustable carbon steel buckles, advantage of carbon steel over a traditional aluminum buckle that you're probably more accustomed to hearing about is that they're going to have a higher strength to weight ratio. So you're able to make a very thin profile buckle here uh, that's actually stronger than an aluminum buckle. And like I said, they are micro adjustable, so you can twist and turn them every which way. And in case you're in between catches here on the, uh, the catch of the buckle, you can loosen or tighten the actual buckle um, and get a really nice secure fit that's not too tight or too loose. This also has a hinge instep buckle. What that does is it provides, um, it accommodates different heights of instep. So if you have a narrow or, or I should say a short or a tall instep height, it'll accommodate those because that buckle is allowed to pivot. Um, moving up to the power strap, we've got a nice DC 45 millimeter power strap up here. Um, so it provides a lot of um, comfort and control over the top of the cuff. It also features uh, Technica's Ultra Flex strap, and that allows a little bit of flex in there um, and more rebound. So as you drive into that strap, it provides more rebound, um, so more power and control over the boots. We've got a inside or I should say an outside and an inside uh, cuff adjustment here. What that does is if you're knock kneed or bow legged, your knees go outside or inside, uh, you can bring the cuff into alignment with your, your, uh, how your knee's going. So it provides more comfort. You're not gonna get that discomfort on the inside of the outside of your ankle that you may have had in the past. Switching around to the back side of the boot here, we do have um, a flex adjustment in the form of these rivets on the spine of the boot. You can remove one or both of the rivets um, and adjust the flex accordingly to your weight or how you're skiing and whatnot. So, lots of adjustability. It also features Technica's AVS anti vibration sole system that's going to absorb some of the shocks, the vibrations that you experience out there in the different types of snow conditions, um, less stress on your ankles, your knees, the rest of your joints. Um, so, just a more comfortable cush ride. Um, it also provides a little bit of traction here on the bottom of the sole. So it's less slippery um, when you're walking around the lodge or the parking lot or whatnot. We're going to switch over to the liner now and talk about the features in the liner. Uh, this features Technica's highest performance recreational liner, which is their Hyperfit liner. Um, so it's a little more densely padded. Again, the goal here is transfer of energy to the skis. Um, it has a neoprene insert up top, so it's very easy for you to slide your foot down into the, shell of the liner. Um, it's got this orange material on the bottom. That's a directional material, so all the hairs and the fibers run down to so help hold your heel down in the pocket. You've also got a neoprene toe box up in the tip here. Well, that was a good initial fit. You don't have to wait for that liner to break in so your toes can flex and move around. Um, <clears throat> you see it's got this like hot metallic material that's going to help retain some of the heat in the liner. Um, you've got the tongue pull, allows you to get the tongue forward, um, get it out of the way so you can slide your foot down to the boot very easily. Flip the liner around here, we've got an adjustable Velcro spoiler, um, so you can position it for different heights based on the volume of your calf. If you've got large volume calves, you can actually remove the spoiler entirely um, to accommodate your larger volume calves. That's about it. We'll wrap it up. Um, all in all, like I said, if you're looking for a high performance recreational boot and you're looking to stay out on the... Uh, basically a race level performance, but it, with a little more comfort and relaxed fit, the Technica Dragon 120 is going to be a great option for you.